What's up, Biscuits? How you doing? This is Andre Salazar, The Outgroove. Today, excited to talk to you guys about Johnny Cash. Specifically, Johnny Cash's kind of second wind of career, the American Recordings. I picked these up over at Amoeba Records. Uh, there were six of these albums called The American Recordings, uh, American 1 through 6, titled. The sixth one was posthumously done. Uh, after he passed away and so I have uh, one and five here and um, I want to spend a minute in chat with about Johnny Cash so a couple of things first off if you have not seen the Ken Burns documentary titled country music go watch it like legit go watch it if you just listen to hip-hop go watch country music if you just listen to classical music Go watch country music. If you like country music, okay, it is wonderful. It is 10 hours. It is so good. You learn about the stories, the people, the history of not just country music, but music. And uh, it is all connected, man. It's all connected. And it is fascinating. And in that documentary specifically, it is very Johnny Cash centric with the Carters. So a lot about the Carters, a lot about Johnny. So I would say definitely a huge, huge opportunity to learn some about them. So with that said, Johnny, of course, was a huge, you know, huge star, uh, part of the outlaws, you know, um, with, with Waylon and, and Willie, um, you know, Folsom prison. He did this, this record, uh, at San Quentin, which was, which is brilliant. And then there was a space after the TV show, after all that, there was a little bit of space where there wasn't nothing going on with Johnny. And then a guy named Rick Rubin, I love Rick Rubin, comes along. Now, Rick Rubin, you may or may not know, is one of the founders of the Def Jam. He, uh, he basically created, like, acts like, you know, he helped the Beastie Boys, uh, LL Cool J, just tons of early bands in uh, those early rap days. But he didn't just stick with rap. He didn't just stick with doing that. He could have been their DJ. They wanted him to DJ, but he like quit in the middle of the tour. He loves music, all types. He's produced everybody you can think of. I mean, go, go look on Wikipedia for Rick Rubin's productions and how many albums he's produced. It's amazing. Well, guess what? He produced these, and they are brilliant. This is where Johnny Cash basically gets revived, resurrected, if you will. Now as this old elderly statesman of country music. Uh, and this first album is really good. It starts off with the track Delilah's Gone and Adelia. Sorry, Delia's Gone. And Delia's Gone is this like this slow sad murder song about how he's murdering this woman. I mean, it's great. And then the let the train blow the whistle again, a lot of those train themes and sounds from his early days. Drive on why me Lord. So he had done a gospel album previous years ago. And I think one of these is kind of like the gospel, the gospel album. I think it's maybe four. Uh, where it's like his gospel stuff because there was a big connection with his mother and gospel music and he kind of grew up with that and because of the passing of his brother uh, at a young age it just became you know it was a huge huge um, hole in his heart and it was a wound that never really fully healed so he always wanted to do gospel music and so uh, one of these older albums as well as a, as a gospel album uh, this, this happened later in life though. He was like 60, mid sixties, I think 61 or so when the first Johnny Cash came out, just called, uh, cat Johnny Cash, American recordings. And then by the fifth one, uh, he was 71. It was recorded when he was 71. He passed away just a year or two after this. And then the sixth album was recordings from, uh, right before he died. So this was recorded in 2003 came out 2006 uh and in this one in five you have helped me god's gonna cut you down i like the, like 30 
liked it like 309. 309 has got this really nice cool slide guitar, which I really like in there. Um, but if you can read my mind is really weak. Uh, God's gonna cut you down is good. I do like this kind of old country sound in it. But I would say this is probably weaker. Um, and really, honestly, these albums get progressively weak as they go. And a lot of it really is just due to age. His voice is faltering at times. It's just, it sounds like this sad old man. And that's fine for like one album. But five or six albums, it's just a lot, you know? I could do like in a mixtape, maybe put one of these in there, but I'm not gonna listen to a full freaking album of this guy. It's just, it's just hard to do um, these, these later ones. It's good and it's got that old timey feel to it, but I would say it's probably the weaker one. If you were to pick one of these up, I would say this one's the one to get. It's old school, it's got Tennessee Stud, Burr on a Wire. Um, it's got good songs on here and, it's, and it does revive him. I mean, these won a lot of Grammys. Rick Rubin, I mean, he's got something special about the way he, he um, curates music and inspires and kind of leads artists to find, you know, I'm gonna be cheesy, the truth within, that kind of a thing. And um, this, this, this was great, this is good. I would say for sure, this is the one to get. This is definitely four biscuits. Uh, maybe, if, yeah, this is a four biscuit one. This is maybe 2.5 biscuits. It's, it's fine and, and it's Johnny Cash, but the, just the quality you kind of start to notice and it kind of like it goes progressively worse. And I think it's just really just, just age to be honest. I mean, even Paul McCartney's new songs, you can tell it's sung, you know, he just doesn't have, you just don't have those, those chops, you know, just your body can't, can't belt out those sounds as they used to. That's unfortunate, but that's just the way that is. Um, I would definitely say pick these up. If you find them at a thrift store or something like that, discounted, get them. These were three bucks each, so I said you gotta get them. Uh, I would definitely get this on vinyl. I think this is kind of a fun album. That Delia song is brilliant. Um, there's also Redemption. I mean, it's, it's it, a lot of it is the same you know, tenor, the same tone, which is, the woes of a man, you know, leaving earth, you know, ending towards the golden years, you know, this is the last, um, the last few moments of life. And what do you say? And, and what, what is important to pass on? What's the message? What have you learned? You know, it's kind of what that's about. So there you go. Johnny Cash, the American recordings, definitely check them out. That's all for me. What do you think? Am I right? Or am I wrong? How many biscuits do you give it? Check the bell icon right there to know about more videos. Subscribe, hit the like button, and tell all your friends about this channel. Appreciate it. Have a good one. Bye, guys.